Um, today I'm going to do a review and an unboxing from this amazing little thing over here. It's Joystick, Thrustmaster Warthog. I'm sure it'll be titling the thing with Jiggy. And I'm going to guess that you're wondering why in the world my opinion matters. It doesn't. I'm just some guy on the internet, like most of you currently are. Um, I do have a little bit of insight to flying. I am a pilot. I'm also quite a avid virtual swimmer. I own the Zandif clan, which is a South African War Thunder DCS and um, squad clan now. Yeah. Although we don't really play squad much, we more mess around with the French. But anyway, so yeah. Got a joystick. We're going to unbox it. We're going to give it my thoughts, opinions on it. This is not going to be the. Oh, well, yeah. English. Got a box with a joystick in it. Um, and full disclaimer, this is not the first Thrustmaster I have had. Um, the first one malfunctioned, sent that one back, and they sent me this one in return. Um, which is really cool. It's nice to know that you can actually send shut, 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 send shut off and you get it back. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to try and give a, a quick review and unboxing video on this. Uh, also, please excuse if any sound glitching or anything happens. My microphone and camera's not working, and I'm trying to go recording through my sister's laptop. But I'm sure you don't need information like that. Okay, background about me. Um, dev school, trained as a pilot. Flew for a little while, stopped flying. Now I'm flying again. Um, virtually, I have been flying like simulators since the days of Amstrad and XTs. So. I've, I've got quite a few hours in the virtual world. That actually means nothing, to be honest. But background information. Um, my dog walked, must be walked by. He's really confused about everything set up here. I'm just rambling on. Hopefully, I can cut all this into a nice little section. Okay, first thing. Um, bought this from Rebel Tech last year. I was originally going to buy the VKB. Um, oh, shit, I forgot. Gunfighter. Uh, I sold a car to so have the funds for that and I waited and I waited and it was never for sale and then they were like okay a new batch and I sat on the internet until 3 a.m. in the morning waiting to click buy 3 a.m. in the morning well this is a bit much I went to bed woke up at 8 went to my computer and that already sold out all of them so VKB really hard to get hold of actually especially in this country the second option would have been Vipol uh, Vipol I would pronounce that. Those to me, in my opinion, are the two top joysticks. Thrustmaster coming in a very close third. There's one reason it's not higher than third. We'll get to that. But first, got a knife. Got a scary, scary knife. And let's open this. Okay, first thing, uh, no, not, I say first thing a lot. Quantity one, net weight, 3.4 kgs. I've been asked how much it weighs. The box, Oh, gross weight, 4.83. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Let's get my stuff out. A uh, whole of information about me. Oh, by the way, thank you, Kaylee, in case you ever see that, for helping me get this going. Um, Kaylee from Rebel Tech, in case you want windows. There's only two places you can get um, a Thrustmaster in Warthog, specifically, in this country. It would be Rebel Tech. Um, Eve Tech, and that's it. I actually contacted uh, Thrustmaster themselves while trying to get it, and they told me I should go to my supplier, which they said was Macro. And I laughed, because Macro is not exactly. Uh, they're not going to stock a, a Thrustmaster. Well, they will thrust. They will thrust. They will stock a Thrustmaster, but they will not stock a Warthog. Okay. So the first thing, not the first thing anymore, obviously. We get greeted by an afterburner and a joystick. Now let's get this out. And it's going to be upside down, but I actually know about the packaging, so it's fine. It's not going to be an issue. Uh, don't get a dog. Packaging is really cool. A little hologram from the United States Air Force. 
you say that's a licensed production. And that's actually one of the biggest turn-ons about this. This is a direct replica from the A10 Warthog or the F16 uh, Falcon. I'm not calling it a Viper, I don't fly it. Therefore it's a Falcon to me. Woof to you too, Judith. Oh, she, please don't say she's going to do a barking run. Okay. I was going to use two cameras and film in different angles and all the rest. I don't have two cameras to film in different angles because the lens doesn't fit onto the other camera. But I'll, I'll do some close-ups later. At the moment, let's just one tap at a time. This is a nice quality box. It's a box. Within a box. Within a box. Within a box. Get the knife out the way before I cut myself. Watch all my recordings, just be squeaky sounds. I'm gonna keep this. Very important keeper boxes. And we have a white box. With another little tab. I think it's a Russian doll. And here we go. Very first thing we come across, polystyrene and assembly instructions. Assembly instructions are very simple. Top yet, the manual. The drivers don't come with the joystick. If you want the drivers, you've got to download them from Thrustmaster's website. Quick, easy. I mean, most of us don't have CD-ROMs anymore, as far as I'm aware. Or maybe I'm just more advanced or older than most of you. There's a lot of text in here. Not useful. Could be useful, actually. I'm contradicting myself here. Okay, and then let's bring out the polystyrene. Environmentally safe. It's not environmentally safe. That's three boxes and a polystyrene thing. I'm gonna be trapped. Okay, um, let's see which way I want to open this from. Let me gently remove the assembly instructions. Oh, don't need to, okay. Holy Grail. And this is a greet you. Base plate, grip, cables, all nicely wrapped up in a beautifully wrapped plastic thingy. Okay, first thing we're going to take out is this base plate. One of the biggest issues that you'll find if you're used to normal joysticks is the fear, fear, sheer physical size of this. And wait. Place this down nicely. Mmm, smells good. Smells like metal. This is, by the way, the reason I believe this is a third best joystick. The gimbals inside of here are plastic. Um, with Viprol and VKB, VBK, I believe they're metal. I'm almost certain they're metal. I'm hearing growling noises over there. This thing is solid stainless steel. It's it's heavy. If you're going to make a virtual cockpit, screws over here. Pop that out. Stick that between your legs. And you got a joystick. Yeah, the joystick. Alright, next thing. Here comes the cool bit. This. Is the joystick. Now when they say this is made out of metal, it's made out of metal. Buttons are the exception. You can even hear this. Pinky button, lever, 
metal. That's not going to bend anytime soon. Two stage trigger. There is no higher quality joystick grip than this. If I had the perfect joystick, it would be the Thrustmaster grip with a Vipril base. They are compatible, so you can actually put this on a Vipril base. Vipril, Vipril. I'm going to pronounce that incorrectly the whole time. I do apologize. Um, so what I've done actually is I sent a message to my gaming clan asking them questions. Uh, what they would like to know about this joystick and all the rest. And uh, I'm going to answer them. I think that's the easiest way of doing it because I'm going to forget shit. Okay. Plugging this thing is very easy. That's still pipe in DPI, I think. I think it's a DPI. Uh, I'll make a statement again, the YouTube thing. Yellow arrow, yellow arrow, stick them together, and then just tighten. This thing is massive. It feels good. You're not going to keep this in front of you while playing a computer game on your desk. This is not a desk mounting joystick. Uh, my monitors sit over here, so this is basically blocking half my view. So you'll generally put it down between your legs on your own mounting or keep it as a side stick. The F16, exact same joystick on the side, um, A10 between your legs. All right, so my recording died halfway through, but a minor detail. Um, and now I have a piece of paper with things that I'm supposed to be saying. Okay, so left up saying that this is not a desk mounted joystick. Having this in front of you is going to block off most of your view. It is really big. It is large keyboard space, just doesn't exist. You're going to remove this from the plate, stick it between your legs. Um, you're going to have it on the side stick. You're going to put it in a simpit. It's not a convenient joystick at all. Okay, a um, few questions that the squadron has asked me. Let me just move it out the side, yeah. Okay, so let's go into questions. Um, from Tienis, sensors compared to other top range sticks, comfort button layout compatibly with other systems, like maybe a Simpit. Uh, and is the button layout more practical use for other planes? That question coincides with uh, one from Cody from the States. Hello Cody from the United States of the Americas. Um, does it feel cheap? Is it heavy? Do the, buttons res um, do the buttons feel responsive when you use it? Is it ergonomic? Let's answer both those questions at once. The United States Air Force spent a lot of money designing their joysticks for the aircraft. The A-10, the F-16, both use the same joystick. Different layouts in the actual positions. Like I said, F-16 right hand side, A-10 between your legs. Same idea. Both aircraft are actually different systems, so the buttons don't do the same things between two aircraft. Slight differences depending on the aircraft needs and the systems that are running. But when it comes to button wise, and a mosquito, bugger off. These are excellent. Two stage trigger, trim as per normal on top of a joystick, extra head switches. Ah, oh, how do you even go about this? Ergonomics. Americans like making the pilots comfortable. This thing fits perfectly in your hand. It really does. It doesn't have a adjustable palm grip. And this actually brings me up to the next thing. Um, metal. Is it comfortable? Okay, so the problem is when you're doing high stress situations while flying, um, aerial refueling, combat, you and me are going to get sweaty. You're going to get sweaty, your hands are going to start sliding all over the stick. This yellow sticker will not last. It, it will disappear very quickly. The way around this, there's also another problem. Early morning, it's cold, it's winter. I decided to start up and have a bit of a flight. Touch that, it's freaking cold. Flying gloves. Um, you can use cycling gloves. You can just make sure they're leather or fingerless. Perfect match. This is absolutely amazing. Um, the joystick will stop your hands from sweating. It'll also keep it warm. 
and there's just something nice about holding an actual American joystick with an American issued flight glove. You look like an idiot though, but no one's going to be watching you unless you want them to watch you, I guess. And a dog fur floating into the sky. Sorry, I have husky, which is gorgeous. The other thing, is it cheap? Let's, let's, let's do a demonstration. I'm going to move this, no, I'm going to actually move this to the side. I'm going to put this over here. This is my previous joystick, it's dusty as hell. Um, it's a genius metal stick, metal strike. And what I'm going to do is give you the middle finger, put it on the side of the stick. Oh, that was useful. Middle finger. All right, on the back. Front. Now let's compare that to the war dog. Middle finger. Not gonna not gonna match that. This is this is absolutely incredible. Um that was actually part of another question that I saw. Okay, Alex. Uh, what's he say? Do, 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 do. That's page backup. How accurate is? Does it have wobble? Everything else wobble. This won't wobble. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. How big is the dead zone? I'm sure it has a dead zone. I haven't found it. Uh, on the box, it's got. Um, what's it called? Where's this marketing? Here we go. Surgical precision on stick. 65,536 by 65,536 values. I have no idea what values are. I'm sure they're impressive. I know it's a magnetic sensor. Same sensor that's actually in the Thrustmaster T1600. That sounds terrible. Well, actually, it sounds better than... 1,600. You know. So, quality-wise, when it comes to that, you, you, it's unmatched. It really is unmatched. And from Axe again, finally, can I use it as a dildo? No, you cannot. I think you're a dirty... Um, I'm not even going to continue that. That just sounded way too sexual, even though it was a sexual question. Oh, my God. All right. Um, Cody goes again. Could you put it on a scale? Can you place it anywhere in your desk? Um, as mentioned before, fr front of you, it's, it's not going to be useful. I'm going to box your view. Uh, Tim goes as a whole test excellent. Uh, it's a one to one replica. Yes. Yes, it's a 100% one to one replica um, Including weight for the actual grip if I recall correctly You climb into an A10 you climb into an A16. This is the joystick that's going to meet your hand um, Alex continue is a dildo anything is a dildo if you're brave enough. Thank you for that information and I'm I'm not going to mention what Phil said. Another two questions that came up. Um, one from Alex was actually a decent question is compatibility. Uh, plug and play. You can plug and play this into any game. Uh, it's USB so you don't need the drivers, just stick it in. Um, the drivers basically are just the target software which allows you to add more profiles. Very useful in some regards. Explain, it's pretty much set up. Explain reads it instantly because, hey, that's a Thrustmaster. Um, DCS also reads it. In fact, DCS already has some profiles to certain aircraft set to this joystick. War Thunder, War Thunder's got a few problems. Uh, War Thunder doesn't have enough, what's the right word? They don't have enough button setups. They've got a very good joystick setup, to be honest, but they don't have things like, or weapon select. Um, so that you end up having a lot of buttons which could be really useful in War Thunder but they just seem more interested in producing more vehicles that you get to pay for on trees that you never get to use. Anyway, so decent question from Eric's actually. This is nice and thick. The other question was from Dylan. Can I do this naked? Um, I'm not wearing pants. Is that good enough? All right, now let's, let's get back to actually filming this thing. I'm not really sure how to do this. And um, that that was all the questions. Okay. 
not useful. Um, one thing, I, the reason I wanted to do a review in this is because a lot of people who review this joystick or are actually sent it to, by Thrustmaster to people to review, they have a complaint, that's not twist. Twist is when you have a, a joystick that twists for the rudder. If you are serious about your flight sims and you're going to do flight, fly DCS or something like that, you're going to get rudder pedals. And if you have rudder pedals, which control, control by your feet, you do not want your joystick twisting. Not having twist on this joystick is actually one of the biggest pros. It is never a con. This is a flight sim stick. This is not an elite dangerous space joystick. If you have rudder pedals and then you've got an extra twist axis, it's just going to make it flying sloppy. We don't want that. We want backwards, forwards, left, right. That's it. We don't want twisty wobbly bits. And there goes my bedroom. All right, they're, they're busy doing that weird play thing where they, I'm gonna bite your ear. I'm just gonna continue actually. Um, next thing on my piece of paper, it says throttle. Why don't I have a throttle? I couldn't get in South Africa. Uh, I, Judith. I tried. I just could not get in South Africa. And I can now get in South Africa, but at the time I was desperate. The metal stick wasn't doing it. I wanted to fly precision. And um, I then got a second hand Cytec X52, which suits my needs. I'll hopefully get a Thrustmaster in the future, maybe a purple, I don't know. But for now, I've just got the stick. Um, it was bloody expensive, and sitting at almost six grand. Like I said, I did sell a car to get this. So this is not a joystick you want to get unless you are serious about your flight sim, you're a pilot in real life, and you want something to match the quality. If you turn on once the weekend just to like, you know, fly around for a quick dogfight, don't waste your money on this. Um, there are plenty of good um, joysticks. The Thrustmaster T1600 or the Cytec, um X56 series, great joysticks, excellent value for money. But this is this is for serious swimming. Um, and this will be going into my sim cockpit, hence why I have it. Okay, um, I'm now going to film close-ups and shit like that and show you the buttons and stuff. Which I should have been doing with the second camera, but uh, yeah, right, let's, let's get going. Okay, um, so let's try to do this this way. I'm wearing gloves so you don't see how messed up my hands are. Ergonomic, like I said, fits nicely. Countermeasures. That's a four-way head switch and a downward button. We've got the lever, which is actually nice because it's made out of metal as well. That is generally the autopilot off or park brake release um, for most aircraft. The Russian aircraft, that's just generally their brake. Below that, there's the pinky button. That is for nose wheel steering for most Western aircraft. This button, I don't actually have a function for it, to be honest. I use it for my push to talk, um, which is quite helpful. Weapon release. Let's see, where's the focus? There we go. Two stage trigger. First stage, second stage. That's kind of useful for quite a few things. Trim is as per normal for most aircraft. Nice eight-way head switch. I found my original one, this was very twitchy. I uh, haven't tested this on the PC yet, so I'm not too sure. There's another head switch over here. I use this one to manipulate radar. And then this one is also a four-way head switch, and that I use primarily for weapon selection. Of course, they all multiply it. So, for example, you could hold down certain buttons and then these buttons would be still something different. Like I said, that yellow sticker will be worn off very quickly. Um, this just fits in the hand perfectly. When flying, I often just fly holding the stick at the top here, nice and gentle. Uh, that's very bad at camera work. Okay, um, I think that's all that I have to say about this currently. I'm going to go plug it in and play it. And this is... This is nice and juicy.